the twins have had quite a few days to dry while I was working on another baby. Um, I'm just going to now do their dewy skin. Um, for that I use a mixture of the 3D effect varnish and the matte varnish. Um, in this container I mixed up three or four parts matte varnish to one part of the 3D effect. And then I added just a tiny, tiny touch of yellow just to give it a creamy colour. You want to make sure the kit is dust free before you do this and work on a clean sponge that doesn't have any dust or fluff or anything on it. I'm just using a square cosmetic sponge. You can use the wedges if you've got spare wedges. Um, I just like the square because it doesn't give me any harsh lines. So I'll paint a little bit of that onto the sponge and curl up the edges. And then I'm going to dab all over. You want to dab lightly because the harder you dab, the more pull you're going to get from the varnish. And that means you'll end up with quite rough finish. Whereas we just want a soft finish. But we want a little bit of texture on there still. So... Just dab as light as you can. It's better to have to go back and refill your sponge than to have way too much on there to start with.
also want to get this in the ears and in around behind the ears. Um, so I'm just going to use the brush to do that because the sponge doesn't get in there quite as good as I'd like. So you just put it on with a wet brush and then pounce it with a dry brush. I'm also going to just paint this on, on the lips because I don't like the lips to have that look of wearing lip gloss. I like just a subtle sheen. Um, You can also use this for up inside the nostrils and around the eyes unless if you were after a more moist look around the eyes you could use just the, the 3D effect without mixing it in with the matte and that will give you a nice wet look. And then just repeat for the limbs. I also painted on the nails. Um, he looks a little bit shiny here because he's under the direct light. But it does actually just give a nice dewy effect. If you feel it's too shiny you can always go over it with a plain matte varnish afterwards. Um, but I quite like having that little bit of dewiness to the skin.